Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right guys, so it's April, so you know what that means. That's right. The April loot box just arrived and... What? It's not April? Well, what the heck date is it? May 24th? Why the heck is this almost two months late? Well, let's break open this box and let's find out why this box is about a month and a half, almost two months late getting to my doorstep. All right guys, if you guys didn't already know, Loot Fright is by Loot Crate and it's a bi-monthly subscription service uh, for us horror hounds. Like I said, they're a little bit late on this box. I'm not sure exactly why, but the next box should be here in a couple weeks just because of uh, how late this box really was. So I'm kind of curious to break this one open and uh, see what the heck's inside of it and what made them so late. So uh, where's that little tab right here? So let's break this open. And um, no, no, not again. No, no. All right, all right, that's enough of that. Let's break this open and you can go right over there. As always, I'm going to open this up. And what is that? I can't tell. They always have really cool artwork inside. I can't really tell what the heck that is. I think this box's theme is uh, Midnight Snack, if I remember right. Uh, it's been a while. Loot Crate. Stop sending me damn boxes so late. So the first thing is the t-shirt. And it is, oh sweet, check that out. It is the fly. So this is pretty awesome. Yeah, there you go, see? They have the fly right there. And this one's a large. Um, when you order the subscription boxes, you get to designate what size t-shirt you are. This is pretty damn cool. Check that out. I like that it's all black with the uh, with just green. I think that's great. That is awesome. I love it. Okay, but still not an excuse to be two months late. Just because you give me a cool t-shirt. Blue crate. Put that over there. All right. Next up. Ooh, what the heck's this? Oh, no way! What is that? Recipe box. It's a Twilight Zone recipe box. It includes 50 blank recipe cards and set of dividers. What? Look at that. So they have the Twilight Zone spiral, like in the intro of the show. This is actually one of my favorite shows of all time. And all I gotta do is see this Twilight Zone font here and I get super excited. But what the heck is a recipe box? All right, let me open this up. Mm. I said it before and I'll say it again. I need a new knife. Oh, check out the back, it says to serve man. That's cool, and you got some weird writing on here. On the side it says, it's a cookbook. What the heck is going on? How come this won't even open? Oh. <laughs> Duh. All right, so you open it this way. It's magnetized. And as you open it, it's got this little, this little storage area inside here. And if I dump out the contents, it's just Twilight Zone. It looks like they're just blank Twilight Zone cards. What? Let me unwrap this. I mean, there's nothing on them. Look, it's just all the same cards. That's weird. But then you get these cards here, kind of like index cards with the top tab. And there's nothing on the back of it, see? Nothing on the back. This is weird. I'm confused. So I'm not too sure about this. You psych me out by showing Twilight Zone, and then you give me a bunch of blank cards. I don't understand. All right, and this, what is this? It says, just a bite phone stand. Just a bite phone stand. I don't get it. 
It says Luke Fry on the top. That's cool. It's like some fake teeth or some jaws there on the front. All right, so let's open it up. Check it out. Oh, wow. What the hell? Whoa. It's, uh, is this really a phone stand? Look at that. It says Loot Crate on it. Just a bite phone stand. My phone is actually broadcasting to the TV, so that's how you see that image. But if I use it as a phone stand, that should turn in the background. There we go. So, if I, oop, wrong way. So, this is a phone stand shaped like some monster teeth. That's actually very, very cool. What's this made of? Um, it's not incredibly heavy. I can't tell if that's metal. It's not metal. I don't think it's not heavy enough to be metal. It almost feels like a painted heavy plastic, but that is really cool. I'm actually going to use this. That is awesome. Let me put that back so I can get the uh, loop right back in there and just do this. Yeah. All right, this I actually really like. So I'm gonna put this to the side. That is great. There should be traditionally one more item and it's usually a pin. Oh wait, this is one of the ornaments, or not ornaments, they call them ornaments, but they're uh, book markers. So what is this one? Usually it says Legends of Lore and it says uh, Baba Yaga. Deep in the swamp dwells a fearsome crone in a hut on chicken legs. That's weird. She's been known to help the lost souls who stumble upon her just as she's been known to eat them alive. In your travels, be careful not to cross paths with the Baba Yaga, a supernatural witch of Slavic folklore. That's awesome. And just like always, they have a really cool um, glossy logo on the front of the box. And, ooh, this is kind of shifted a little bit in the box. But let me take that out. Oh, that's awesome. That's really weird. I can't really tell what the heck it is. But it has this purple tassel. They usually have a tassel because this is a bookmark. You have the slot right there to put on your pages and you just close. This one's actually more like a traditional bookmark. The other ones are kind of embossed a little bit so they stick up. So if you close your book on it, you might you know, put indentations in your pages. This one's flat. So this one's probably the best bookmark I've seen them uh, put out yet. Once again, I can't really tell what's going on there. So that's going to go in my collection of uh, folklore bookmarks from Loot Fright. That's sweet. And I think that should be it. Oh no, the pin. I forgot. So this one is Mordio from Crypt TV. This one's actually really cool looking. These guys keep giving me cool pins and uh, this one's actually really cool because it's colored. It's almost like it's a, a photograph that they just turned into a pin. That's awesome. Um, I'm not familiar with this character from Crypt TV, but a very cool looking pin. I absolutely love it. I'm going to put this with all the other pins that I got from Loot Fright. Cool. And this should be... What the hell? This vomit bag and the price of one admission will enable you to see Scary Devil Girl 2, Inner Demons. They gave me a vomit bag. Do you guys remember back in the day? I don't know, back in the 80s. And uh, what was the movie? Was it Mark of the Devil? And they gave you vomit bags because the movie was supposed to be so disgusting and gross. And uh, I watched it when I was like 15 years old and it was so tame. Just a marketing scheme just for uh, promotion. But wonder why, what is, I don't even know what this movie is. Do you guys know what this movie is? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, wow. I mean, how many times do they expect me to vomit at this movie? Lose your lunch bag. Wow. All right, I have to look this movie up and find out what the heck it is. Um, my interest is peaked. Loot Fright vomit bag. That's awesome. And all right, so it's the info card. So what the heck is this? Oh, I see. If you see the whole picture, it looks like the Jaws there. So, Midnight Snack. All right, so here is the info card. It looks like it's the same picture as the pin that they gave us. So it says, Midnight Snack. 
Sweet. Uh, bon Appetit, whether you've got a taste for terror or you're just a little bloodthirsty, wet your appetite for evil. Sink your fangs into midnight snack. Bruh. All right, exclusive, the Twilight Zone recipe box. A recipe box based on the classic Twilight Zone episode to serve man, featuring 50 blank recipe cards and six dividers with memorable show icons. I don't remember that episode at all. I'm gonna have to check that out. Oh yeah, I do, I see that. So up in each corner, you have different uh, icons from the show. Oh, that's cool. You got the door, E equals MC squared. You got the clock, the man, UFO, and the eyeball. That's actually really cool. I'm gonna have to go back and check that out. That's actually cool then. I take back all the bad stuff I said about you, Lou Freight. Exclusive, the fly t-shirt, love that. Add a little body horror to your body with this tea inspired by Cronenberg's classic, The Fly. Featuring glow-in-the-dark bile that's so fly. No way. And is this glow-in-the-dark? Uh, super dark in here. But I can see it kind of glow-in-the-dark. It's not really picking up on camera. It needs to just sit in front of a light more. But yeah, around the... The bile is all glow-in-the-dark. All right, sorry guys, I know I couldn't really show you the glow-in-the-dark part, but all of his vomit here glows, and I love it. All right, next we have the exclusive Baba Yaga ornamental keepsake. Satisfy your hunger for Slavic folklore with Baba Yaga, that name. The final keepsake in our Loot Fright Legends of Lore series. Oh, that's the final one. Oh, bummer. And then, exclusive, lose your lunch bags, toss your cookies or other snacks into this set of three paper lunch bags inspired by B-movie horror excellence. So maybe it's not an actual movie? It's just inspired by B-movies? Um, that's still kind of funny. I was kind of hoping it was a real movie. I'm still gonna look it up and see if it's a real movie. Scary Devil Girl 2, Inner Demons. I don't think it's a real movie. <sighs> Bummer. And then exclusive uh, Mordio pin. Channel your inner cannibal antlers and all with this Mordio pin. Plus unlock exclusive Crypt TV DLC at lootcrate.com slash pin slash loot fright pins. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this April unboxing of Loot Fright. What are you guys' thoughts on this box? Uh, was it worth it that they were, I don't know, a month and a half late getting it to everybody? Um, yes, maybe? I think this is a great box. They're, every single box I've gotten from these guys have been excellent. This fly shirt is fantastic, but this right here, this uh, monster jaw phone holder or whatever the heck it is, is absolutely incredible. And I'm 100% putting this in my room to hold my phone. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this box. And if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go.